So with our purchase services, this is the area that um, pays for any of our contracted services, third party vendors. Um, this includes um, our substitute costs that have grown exponentially, um, $436,000 from um, FY22 to FY23. Um, we did use a different vendor in FY22. Um, we switched uh back to the vendor that we were using in FY21. Um, and, and the hope there is to save some some money. However, um, our sub costs have grown um, quite a bit and there's a lot of different reasons for that. One being um, the number of vacant positions that we still have in the district. Um, um, post COVID, so we've, we've seen this trend post COVID. Um, also, there's inflation, right? So the things like we, um, as consumers experience, the district is also experiencing. So our copier leases are more expensive, custodial services, electricity, things that are not necessarily us consuming more, but just cost us more money um, to do the same things. Our buildings and grounds upkeep, um, those are contracted services with ABM and, um, you know, I can't remember exactly who provides our electricity right now, but those uh, are third party services. And so um, we have very little control over um, those costs and the inflation associated with it. Um, special education costs, um, we are employing a lot of our, um, a lot of our services or a lot of our, because we have so many vacancies, a lot of the teaching um, and our uh, ancillary services. So like speech and, um, OTPT services that we are providing for our students are done so through a staffing services um, because of our inability to hire those people on. Um, there is a trend that we're seeing in special education where it's more lucrative for um, these providers to um, work for multiple different districts instead of just one. Um, and so they contract themselves out. It's very lucrative for them and very costly for districts, um, but there is a shortage in the market. And so um, it's kind of the, the law of supply and demand. Um, and then we have um, what's unique to Reynoldsburg is the number of outplaced students. So those are our special education students that um, come to us either from other districts or they're in our districts and their disability um, is one that we can't service in-house. We're not equipped to service in-house. And so we uh, recommend them to a facility that can uh, meet the needs of those students and pay that tuition. And so we have an increased number of outplaced students. Um, again, we are experiencing um, inflation in multiple areas, but uh, particularly in our cost to repair items. So um, if you just think about what um, has happened with groceries and um, you know the, the property values of, so, um, or materials, um, lumber is one of those things. You used to be able to get it, uh, pretty inexpensively, um, same thing with like drywall, but those things have um, increased, um, you know, with inflation. And so the district is also experiencing that as we um, have to pay for materials and um, repair costs. Um, and then just outsourcing across the board. So, these aren't changes. These are things that the district has been doing, um, outsourcing its preschool and um, safety and security custodians and buildings and grounds. However, um, it used to be pretty cost effective 
um, to do that. And so we're in the process of like digging into these costs to make sure that it's still more cost effective to um, outsource those those things um, versus have them in house as those expenses continue to increase.